What's going on guys? This is C and we are back for another episode review of The Real Housewives of Potomac. And today we're going to talk about season five, episode five, Look Who's Squawking. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, this episode begins with Candace. She's at home and she's on her laptop looking and Chris comes in and he's wanting to know what she's doing and she tells him that she's looking at houses but she just can't seem to find what she's looking for. And she says that she's looking for houses because she needs something bigger because she could have a baby and she feels like they would need more space. She also tells him about her attempting to apologize to Giselle at the last event at Karen's housewarming event and how that was sort of a flop. Then she goes on to talk about how Monique invited them to the lake house for a trip, a girl's trip, and that she wasn't sure if she wanted to go. Chris convinces her to go, and so she agrees to go, but she knows that she's not really in the best place with Monique. So she was a little reluctant, but her husband talked her into going. Now, they kind of show the other women packing up, getting ready for the trip. And then we get to Giselle. Now, while she's packing, she's on the phone with Jamal Bryant's assistant trying to literally schedule time for them to be together or time for him to be with the kids. Because I think November is one of the girls' birthdays and she's saying that he has to be there for that. And she wishes that there were times where she could just kind of chill and, you know, call her boo up like, hey, where you at? Pull up. And they just kind of relax and chill together. But him being in Atlanta and her being up in Potomac, that's just not possible at the time. So then we get to Ashley. Ashley's also packing. And you've got Michael holding baby Dean on the side. And he's like, so you're taking the baby with you, right? And even if she wanted to say no, I don't think that Michael was going to allow her to say no because Michael obviously does not want to keep the baby while Ashley is gone on this girl's trip. So she says, yes, I am taking baby Dean with me. Whether she had planned on it or not, Michael wasn't having it. And so she didn't have a choice. And then she kind of jokes because he tells her that she's looking good and she kind of jokes and she says that he's become an ass man lately and he's like no i've become an ashley man and he tells her that he compares her to other people saying well you don't have what ashley has or whatever so they kind of have a kiki about that and we move on so then we go on to monique and monique is just in her confessional going over these endless details about her day and about how she's been preparing for this girl's trip at her lake house and monique is a talker so with the producers and everything they kind of edited it in to where she's going on and on and on and on for only god knows how long but that was kind of funny and she's talking to chris and Chris and the other husbands or the other fellas are going to come down that following Saturday. I don't know how long the girls will be there before the guys show up, but they'll be coming down on Saturday. And we get a knock at the door and it's Giselle. Gis Giselle shows up to Monique's house because she's going to accompany Monique on the trip. They're riding together to go down to the lake house and Karen also. But Giselle gets there first and T'Challa, the bird, has been cut up all episode because he scared the shit out of Giselle when she comes into the kitchen. He's just kind of sitting there because he's a part of the family. You know, they don't keep him locked up. He gets to roam freely. He's a potty trained bird, so I guess it's not a problem with him just being out and free to fly as he wants to. So... Monique does tell her that T'Challa will be coming on the trip and that he'll be riding in the backseat with her during the ride. And Giselle is not too happy about that, as I probably wouldn't be either because I'm afraid of 
everything but dogs. So I can imagine how Giselle would feel just riding alongside a bird, you know, the distance that they have to go to get to the lake house. But anyway, Karen shows up and they kind of poke fun at Karen because she's wearing this cute little crop zip up jacket with her top abs showing as Monique kept joking with her and she looked really cute. So she shows up and the funny thing is you see Karen in her confessional shading the shit out of Giselle and she's just saying, you know, lately they have gotten chummy chummy, Monique and Giselle, and she just hopes that Giselle's fashion sense does not rub off on Monique. I did get a little laugh out of that because we all know Giselle is not the best dressed of the cast. So they are off and they're riding together and they're kind of chit-chatting as they're driving and they kind of want to know you know why dean is not allowed to stay with michael why you know why does dean baby dean have to come on the trip with ashley now they were all kind of wondering that on the ride there and i just kind of wanted to make mention of that because it'll come up later on in the review but they get there, you, we see Wendy. Wendy's excited about going on a trip. You know, she's normally home being wife, being mom, working. And so it feels good to be able to go on a trip, but she breastfeeds her baby girl. So she's been pumping all week, storing milk, getting milk ready so that the baby can eat while she's away. So I don't know how long they'll be gone, but she wants to make sure that she's got plenty of milk while she's gone. Now we flash back over to Monique and Karen and Giselle in the truck. And somehow Giselle just brings up how Wendy was talking about Karen at the party and was saying how, or to Robin, I'm sorry, at the little get together they had in the park. And she was just telling her how she, Karen and Ray can't be having sex or still be having sex or something, the, the sex comment. So it comes up in the truck and Karen's like, well, I don't really know why, you know, she would talk about me. Maybe she was just nervous, but I'm not the one. This isn't what she wants or whatever. But then we get to the lake house the three girls show up first. They're there and Monique is giving them the chance to kind of have first dibs on picking their rooms. And then we get a knock at the door and it's Robin. Robin is actually one of the first ladies to arrive outside of Monique, Karen, and Giselle. She actually shows up first. And that's crazy because Robin, as we all know, is late for everything but she gets there and they kind of have a kiki about that that she is actually on time and they end up deciding that robin and giselle will stay together down at <clears throat> the guest house so that you have to take a golf cart to get to obviously because it's far it's far enough away from the actual lake house the main house itself beautiful property it is beautiful they were complaining about it being out in the middle of nowhere but i would be in seventh heaven i'm i mean unless jason or freddy krueger or somebody is out there i i mean i'm away from you know the madness is you know just solace is just quiet i would be in seventh heaven personally but then next candace shows up and Candace is still in her feelings about Monique and Monique's antics or how she feels that Monique is being very fake and not being a real friend. But she comes anyway. And then Wendy shows up. Wendy shows up and she's saying already that, you know, she has never heard of a girl's trip where a baby is allowed to be there. When she thinks of girls trip, she just thinks of adult women getting together, having a good time, not adult women getting together, having a good time 
and a extra baby, but hey, and she was kind of, you know, feeling away about it because she has a newborn also and wishes that she could have brought her child, you know, she didn't feel like it was fair that Ashley was able to bring her baby and she wasn't able to bring hers. The option wasn't given to her. So Ashley does show up with the baby and she shows up after T'Challa makes another appearance. They're sitting there and they're talking. Monique's kind of telling them that she wants to get to know the ladies on a deeper level. And out of nowhere, T'Challa just flies in and scares the absolute crap out of Wendy because he flies in like on her arm and they almost looked like he was attacking her. So she's screaming and Monique's running. Uh, not Monique. Um, Candace is running. It was hilarious. I rewound it a few times because I just thought that it was too funny. Because Not that the bird was trying to hurt her. But I guess he's just used to being able to fly freely. And so he was flying and Wendy wasn't comfortable with it. And it, was, it was hilarious. But Ashley gets there. And they're kind of talking, and out of nowhere, Ashley and Wendy just get into it about, you know, why one was able to bring her child and the other one wasn't. And Ashley's telling her, well, I can't be away from my child like that. No, Michael wasn't watching him, so you didn't have a choice to begin with. So you can kill all that noise. And so Wendy's like, okay, well, you brought a nanny why couldn't they have stayed home and it just kind of gets ugly and it gets loud and everybody starts interject interjecting i'm sorry interjecting lord and you got one mostly everybody except for candace all feeling like wendy just came out of left field and she was just being a little bit much about the situation when do you think that she was being a bit much about the situation or was it, you know, unfair? Leave, you know, a comment letting me know how y'all feel. Do you feel Wendy was wrong or was, I mean, were they wrong for not allowing her to bring her baby? But I want to know what y'all think about it. Then... Karen, you know, everybody kind of sneaks away to try and call their significant others. And the reception there is horrible. Nobody can really get good reception. They're trying to FaceTime and it's freezing and it's just a mess. But Karen calls Ray and she lets him know that they made it safely. And she asks Ray if he misses her. And it was literally crickets. Ray didn't answer. And then she's like, hello? And he's like, yeah, I'm here. So he heard her, but he doesn't miss her, obviously. So I'm thinking Ray is, he slick over Karen, but they're old and he just may not be in that space that he once was, you know, 20 years ago when they were much younger. Now Ray is just chilling, obviously. Monique and Wendy get together and because Wendy needed the password to the Wi-Fi because her reception was just god awful. But she and Monique have a chance to get together and they talk. And again, Monique says that she understands where Wendy was coming from. And had she known, she would have told her she could bring her daughter and it wouldn't have been a problem. But she just feels like Maybe Wendy's delivery was wrong at how she came at Ashley. And I don't know if it's just my aggressive nature, but I didn't feel like she was disrespectful. I do think that she was direct. And Wendy just strikes me as a direct person, which is kind of my personality trait as well. So I don't think that what she said was out of line and I don't even think that it was delivered wrong because she didn't cuss at her and she wasn't disrespectful. They might just be looking for a reason to, you know, 
go at her or jump jump on her or to jump her like they like to do on this show. But we then get to the part where the girls are getting together. They're getting dressed and getting ready to go to the to a dinner that Monique has had a private chef prepare. So everybody's getting ready and Candace takes the golf cart and she goes back down to Giselle and Robin's guest house and she comes in to talk to Giselle to apologize again about the same thing you apologized for at the party. I guess Giselle was just in a better place to receive the apology this time, but she still wanted to make this girl grovel. And I don't understand, as strong as Candace is, I don't understand why she feels the need to grovel and beg Giselle for forgiveness because you shade, Giselle shaded you, you shaded Giselle back. It's just that you have a much better way with words and yours cut a little deeper than Giselle's tried to do. Giselle says, I did a little pinch of shade. You came, you know, for blood or whatever she told her, but I still don't understand. And I think you apologized once and you were sincere in that apology. Nobody made you apologize to her. You came to her, pulled her to the side at the party and apologized. Now, since Giselle wasn't in position to receive it at that time, that's on her, but you got it off of you and you apologize and it should have been that on that. But she is just determined to make this girl like her and wants to be her friend. So that's Candace's business. I'm gonna let her handle that. And then Giselle compares Candace in the confessional to a happy chihuahua that you want to bring to the party. She says she's nice. Uh, she's she's fun. And, you know, she's just one of those girls that, that she's like a, a nice chihuahua that you want to bring to the party. Still shade, still thrown shade as she does, but I'm sure they'll let her get away with it like they always do. The only person that really caused Giselle out, Monique had her times and she just kind of let it go but karen karen is the only one who stands firm in calling giselle on her shit so then they get to dinner everybody's at dinner and of course they get their first course this strawberry and cucumber mint salad or something it looks really good but they play this game and it's called game of curiosity so they ask questions and they're not lighthearted questions. They're questions that kind of dig deep because like Monique says, she wants to dig deep and get to know these women on another level. But Giselle comes at Candace about having a nose job. And Candace is like, I had a nose job? And she was like, well, I thought that was common knowledge. I thought everybody knew because Candace kind of talked about being the only brown girl growing up in certain settings and... I guess it created some sort of insecurity for her or this wall where she had to be a certain kind of way. And out of nowhere, Giselle just said, so is that why you got a nose job? And Candace denied having a nose job. But then somebody asked Ashley if her booty hole healed yet. It was, these were some wild questions, but Karen uses this opportunity to ask Wendy about what she had heard that Wendy said about she and Ray not having sex. And Wendy didn't deny it. Wendy was like, yeah. And so basically those two just decided they're going to go to dinner and talk because they serve on the same boards of certain organizations. And yet for some reason, Karen still says that she doesn't know Wendy. So they're going to go to dinner at some time and talk and hopefully they can work whatever out. So then they start attacking Wendy again about this baby situation. Ashley just feels like she's owed an apology because Wendy came at her crazy. Wendy says she's not apologizing. And then Robin and Giselle, 
they make sure to point out that, yeah, it was your fault. You were the aggressor in this situation and, and you do owe her an apology. And Wendy is standing, standing firm. She's like, I'm not apologizing. I, it ain't happening. And so they're, uh, Ashley's like, well, I'm done with you, whatever. So uh, Wendy was like, that's fine, whatever. And so Robin asked Wendy, you know, well, let's just say it was you and I and, you know, you were coming at me because of, you know, the stress that you were feeling about a certain way. You know, do you think that you would owe me an apology? And then Ashley comes and jumps back into the discussion when she just said that she was done with her and she jumps back into it again. So they start arguing. People start standing up. I mean, it was just wild. And they finally in the episode that's where it ended i guess some other stuff is going to go down next week i didn't know i thought that the whole text thing that candace saw with michael being at the strip club was gonna show up this episode but obviously not so we'll just leave it there if i left out any important parts or anything that you want to know any of the questions that i asked Feel free to answer in the comments. Also, do not forget to like and subscribe. Like this video, subscribe to my channel so that you'll be here for any other content that I put out. I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.